How you guys doing? It's Brother Kwame, and I'm back at it with another topic. I'm back at it with another eye-opening spiritual message. And today's topic is the curse of Judah due to lawlessness. That's right. Today's topic is the curse of Judah due to lawlessness. And I'm going to start off with a prayer before I begin. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for, for giving me the strength to do this video, my Father God. I just ask you to dwell in me. Let me decrease so you may increase inside of Brother Kwame as he get ready to preach your word. Keep this, keep me covered in the blood of Jesus, my Father God, Lord. Have me protected. Have this video protected. Any, any demonic thing that is not of you, my Father God. Anything that is not of you, my Father God, that try to come against me in this video, my Father God, I just ask for you to push it backwards, my Father God, Lord. I ask for you to bind and rebuke it in the name of Jesus, my Father God, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay. This topic is the curse of Judah due to lawlessness. The reason why I'm doing this topic is because a lot of people don't know their heritage. They have been brainwashed through history and social study books. But the thing about this we won't be ignorant after this. We won't be walking around blaming stuff on the white man, my black people. We won't be ignorant. We will know the truth while we're in the predicament that we're in. But I must say at the beginning, the black people that's living through the Lord God, walking in the spirit, you're justified. If you're living and serving him in the spirit and the truth, people. I'm doing this topic for the Lord because he wants to get the truth out for y'all. The tribe of Judah to open up y'all eyes. We won't be walking around calling people racist and thinking it's a racist system. The battle is about good and evil. It's basically the Lord's seed versus the devil's seed. And our ancestors, they basically took on walking in the way and doing the things of the devil ways and to provoke the Lord God into jealousy. And it scattered us all over the nations. And if you people think this is a racist thing, you haven't learned Jesus Christ. You can't be walking around and believing it that it is a racist thing. See, that is the picture that the enemy painted to get you operating in the flesh, to keep your mind in the flesh. See, if you're operating in the flesh, you can't seek the deeper things of God because the deeper things of God are searched through the spirit. Now, join us to the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 8 through 9. Join us to the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 8 through 9. And it says, Thou hast despised my holy things and hast profaned my Sabbaths. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood. And in thee they eat upon the mountains. In the midst of thee they commit lewdness. You see that? The Lord God said that thou hast profaned his holy things and profaned his Sabbath. Now, this is one of the reasons why we're in the predicament that we're in, folks. We're not keeping his commandments, his holy things, and we profane his Sabbaths. We're in, we're in Sunday church. We love going to Sunday church. That's not from the Lord God from the start. You can worship the Lord God on however any day, but the only day of the week you're in church on Sunday, this is ignorant for the Sabbath. That's right, because the Lord God's Sabbath is on a seventh day. Now, join us to the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 4. Join us to the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 4. And it says, For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. You see, there you go right there. The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday, people. We are ignorant there. That's a commandment, people. That's the fourth commandment. He said to keep the Sabbath holy. That's one thing we are ignorant of. Then if we go back to where we just came from, to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 8. We don't keep his holy things. It's his commandments, people. Anything that he commanded. And that keeps us in ignorance. If we're not following the ways of the Lord God, people. And in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 9, the Lord God is letting you know people carry guns. They shed blood. What are gang members doing today? What is the higher percent in gang bangers, people? 
We have a whole lot of the tribe of Judah in gangs, people. We got the tribe of Judah. That, we got the tribe of Judah that don't like each other. They hate each other, discredit each other for every little thing and for stepping on shoes. And they ready to go pull out a gun. They ready to go pull out a gun and shoot. And that's the very right thing. That's the very thing right there is said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 9. And thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, not having mercy on each other, people, just hating each other. And he also spoke of lewdness, lusting after women. Gotta steal women down when she walked past. You breaking the Lord God's law right there. He commanded us not he commanded us not to fornicate and commit sexual immorality. When you do that, you don't know who wife that is you looking at. You start to know something right there. By breaking the Lord God's rules. We in the same chapter in the book of Ezekiel. Go down to verse 12 now. Go down to verse 12. And it says, And thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increased, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion, and hast forgotten me, said the Lord. Dope dealing tribe of Judah, let's wake up. You taking gifts to shed blood. Every time you sell somebody something behind a temple, and you selling it, and you taking dishonest gain by collecting the money. That's blood money, and this is an offense to the Lord God. Anytime you give somebody something like that, that's addicting, they have to keep on coming back. They not in their right mind no more. Plus, it defiles their temple. And it says, thou hast taken usury and increased, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion. My tribe of Judah, robbing, stealing, humbling folks for what they got. This goes on all day. You still breaking the Lord God's rules. Extortion. That's stealing. And God says, thou shalt not steal. And this is part of the predicament that we're in. And we're always wondering why folks look down on us. Look what we doing. Look at, look at what we doing. We breaking the Lord God's rules. We're being ignorant of the things of the Lord God. And this is why we can't get ahead, folks. And as I continue reading, in verse 13, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 13, it says, Behold, therefore, I have smitten thy hand at thy dishonest gain, which thou hast made, and at thy blood, which hath been in the midst of thee. You see that? He let you know for all this dishonest gain, stealing, robbing, killing your brothers, chasing people to go shoot them down with a tail of gun. He let you know that your blood will be upon this stuff, folks, if you don't change. Let's wake up, Judah. This is part of the reason why we're cursed, because we are ignorant of the things of the Lord God. Can we wake up? Can we get the Lord God in our lives and seek him in spirit, in our heart and mind, folks? Can we wake up? Because the Lord God has forgot us, people. The Lord God has forgot us because we have forgot his things. And a lot of people talking about these kids dying too soon. They dying too soon because you forgot the Lord God's ways. And I'm going to show you with the word. Join us to the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Join us to the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. And it says... My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten thy seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. You see that? The Lord God said his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, not knowing the Lord God's ways. And this is why our young black men are dying. The parents forgot the Lord God's ways. Therefore, they didn't raise their children to do his ways. And he said, I forgot thy children. And this is why so many folks are getting killed. This is why so many folks are being slaves. These young kids and these game bangers. They wouldn't be in games if you taught them the, the ways of the Lord God. They wouldn't be doing half of the things that they're doing today. If you taught them the Lord God's ways, people, because the Lord God said to teach your children in his ways, his commandments and statutes. 
He told us to teach it to our children, people. The Holy Ghost ministering right now. Join us to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 2. Join us to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 2. And it says that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's son, all the days of thy life and that thy days may be prolonged. Okay. I'm about to close this video out. I'm about to explain to you what he just said. Y'all see what he just said. He said to teach your children the he said to teach your children the commandments. They days may be prolonged, folks. He only letting you know that you're going to have a long life if you listen to his word. And do his word, folks. So what happens if we don't listen to his word and do his word? Your life is going to be cut off short. And that's why he said, Thou forgot my holy things and I forgot thy children. Because we don't teach our children the Lord God's ways. And that's why a lot of our young people, have been their lives have been cut off short. When are we going to wake up, Judah? When are we going to stop being ignorant and wake up and do the things of the Lord God? Part of this, all right, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to make a part two to this video. It's your boy, Brother Kwame, and I'm out. Be on the lookout.